Hey guys, welcome back to another favorites video. So I know that I mentioned in the past that I wanted to do favorites video like every month, but then I realized unfortunately that I don't really collect enough items that are worth raving about. I'm going to have to do a favorites video every couple of months or every other month depending on how many things I collect and how many things I really enjoy using. I've compiled a list of things that I've enjoyed watching and using in the last month. First thing that I want to mention are these reusable straws. You guys have seen them in my videos, you've heard me talk about them, and I honestly cannot get enough of them. I used to use plastic straws all the time at home for drinking coffee, drinking my smoothies, and I didn't really think about purchasing reusable straws until last month, which is ridiculous. I should have purchased them way sooner. Highly, highly recommend purchasing these if you don't already own a set at home, just because it's really environmental friendly of course and you're creating way less waste which is always nice For the past couple of weeks, I've been trying out this whole new skincare routine. Wish Trend actually sent me their Angry Skin Calming Package to try out, and I've been using it for the past couple of weeks, and so far, my skin hasn't really reacted negatively towards it, which is amazing because normally my skin breaks out whenever I try new products just because of how sensitive it is. I have combination skin. It gets really oily around the T-zone, and then I get like kind of dry patches around my cheek area. This set basically comes with a toner, serum, vitamin C drops which you mix um, together with the serum and I absolutely love the vitamin C drops because hyperpigmentation is something that I deal with quite often and also two moisturizing creams that you mix together and apply. So I use this at night just because of kind of how heavy it is. However, there is one extra item that I do want to mention that isn't a part of it but I use it in the morning and it is this low pH good morning gel cleanser and I've been meaning to try this for the longest time because I've seen everyone rave about it so I use this in the morning as my facial cleanser it's nice because it washes your face without stripping any of the oils away from it any of the natural oils would you use a cleanser that's too harsh for your skin it can actually create excessive oils which can cause you to have little bumps and like sebum and a lot of texture on your face which you want to avoid of course Now for my book recommendation, you guys have seen me read this book in my previous videos, you've seen me mention it before, and it wasn't until last month when I finally actually finished the book. It only took me a couple of months, which is ridiculous, but it's basically been an on and off read and I finally pushed myself to sit down and read it in one sitting. And I'm really glad that I did because this is definitely one of my top favorite books now um, and I don't really care too much for self-help books but I feel like this is definitely a book that stands out from the rest because it's essentially telling you to go against everything that you learned. In my own words, how I would describe this book is that it tells you how to live a happy life by not necessarily just looking at it in a positive light but realizing that you have to accept all of the problems and all of the issues that you face it's just one of the things that you can't avoid in order to live an actual fulfilling and happy life so as usual i'm just really really bad at explaining things so i will include the synopsis of the book down below Of course, I have to have a documentary recommendation because if I didn't have one in my favorites video, then you guys would know that I've been kidnapped and it's not actually me making these videos. The one that I've watched recently is called The Long Shot and it's a little bit different from the recent documentaries that I've recommended. It's on the shorter side and it actually has a happy ending for once, which is really, really rare for a documentary. It essentially tells a true story of a father that was wrongfully accused of a murder that that he didn't commit and so the whole documentary follows the case of how he has to prove that he was at a baseball game with his daughter in order to avoid the death sentence if you're looking for a new documentary to watch i highly highly recommend it and it's a netflix original and whenever it's a netflix original i feel like i have to watch it just because netflix originals are always really really amazing 
I don't really have a lot of Glossier items, but one of the few Glossier items that I do own is this stretch concealer. I am in the shade medium. I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and I've been really, really liking it. It's the only concealer that I use now actually. And what I like the most about this concealer is the fact that it doesn't finish off in like a very dry matte way. Instead, it gives you this very dewy and glowy finish, which is perfect for summer, of course. It doesn't make your skin look dry and that's one of my main concerns. Even in the summer, my skin can start to get a little bit flaky, which is ridiculous because it's summer and I'm sweating, but my skin is still dry, so yay. I do wish that their shade range was a little bit bigger, um, but yeah, that's just one of the issues that I have with their brand, but other than that, it's great. I like it a lot. That is pretty much about it for this month's favorites video, and the sun is just going in and out right now. I'm so sorry, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye!